Hi Asset Mark friends and welcome to another Asset Mark Global House Tour. Now we're about to show you a beautiful modern classical Asian home in Ayala, Alabang. And now we have a special guest with us. Um, in this special house tour, we have our very own Saudi, Chris. How are you? I'm good. So Chris here is our uh, resident Saudi. So he really knows his stuff when it comes to um, being in the South. So this house covers a total lot area of 688 and a total floor area of 800. And just coming in this house, it feels so homey. Definitely, right? definitely. So I mean, the, the fountain itself makes it a bit more uh, uh, welcoming when you yeah, enter the house, right? Yeah, definitely. So this area here is uh, can actually fit seven cars and there's two other carports down the covered area. Covering about four bedrooms, four baths, and a swimming pool. So, do the honors. Let's open the door. Of course. Yes. So before entering, I just want to point out that this house really shows its age very well. You will, yeah. It's like wine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All the old wood, all the lighting fixtures that we see here are very um, homey. Very homey. homey. Because it feels very Filipino. But I mentioned earlier in this video that it's very Asian because there's very uh, hints of Balinese, Vietnamese art inside. Yeah. So, tara, pasukan natin. But before that, I think we need to yeah, take our shoes. Wow, this really feels very homey. What do you think about the light fixtures though? It looks really good. I think uh, in each room it has a different light fixture for mm -hmm. chandelier. So, talaga, mm -hmm. so very creative to like yung mga lighting dito, no? yeah. So going towards the living room, this is exactly what a Filipino home looks like. Yeah, it's very warm actually. Yeah. So usually pag ganito ka pa sa living room with your family, what seat would you take? Uh confrontation scenes. <laughs> Scenes talaga pala. Yeah. So it feels very I know it feels very classical Philippine. But as we mentioned, there's different paintings here that really um, expresses different Asian uh, contemporary na paintings, sculptures. There's a very Vietnamese uh, portrait, I know, um, yeah. sculpture over there. And generally feeling na very Asian talaga yung home. Yeah, and also it's very warm, very welcoming. Yeah. Yeah. Pati lighting kasi very warm. Eh. Yeah. Parang part of being it very wooden yung ano, yung mga yeah, fixtures, the, wood, the, the furniture. Wall. Yeah. Totally Pero like the floorings actually are nara. That's why we need to take care of it. Kaya kami actually nagtanggal ng shoes. Kasi kailangan talaga para pangalagaan yung kahoy. So it's an old house that's made to a modern taste. So you have modern lights, modern fixtures. Smart locks, smart lights. So it's really easy to uh, navigate. Na hindi na kasi siya yung parang lumang house alabang. Yeah. Na kung baga old ano pa yung mga lighting. Yeah. So you can actually turn off the lights through your phone and turn on different appliances through your phone, right? Exactly. And it doesn't lose the class. Still has that ayala alabang taste. Yeah. Class and touch of it. Yeah. Parang I think that's what uh, that makes this property unique. Because it kept its old roots, yeah. but it imbued mga modern uh, technology with it. I totally agree. Yeah, so it didn't it didn't lose yung ano yung parang architecturally sound niya when it comes to being a Filipino home. Right? Exactly. So actually, being very Filipino, wala actually wala pa lang TV dito, but these uh, furniture are already included. Mm -hmm. So before anything else, I think we should go to the first. Uh, room uh, sorry for uh, den in this house so as you can see mga paintings different different than no? yeah so ako personally chris i would stay here a lot dito sa den kasi it's so i can really imagine doing a lot of things here. Yeah. working um, having quick meetings with my business partners like yeah. that no? Think of, what would you what would you do with this? Ah, recreational activities perhaps, and also some shooting if I can do that. And I must say, the chandelier looks really good. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, siguro ano kasi um, Chris here is a very influential person on TikTok. <laughs> so the first thing he mentioned is uh, it being you know, you know, uh, fit for social media. Right? Yeah, definitely, definitely, and it has an access. In the pool right away. Oh nga, the view pa lang. So imagine yeah. just sitting here would really relax you kasi yung kita mo rabid yung yeah. pool, your guests are out there. But before anything else, I think uh, we should also plug yung socials <laughs> really Chris. What are your socials that are followers? Hello everyone, you can follow me on Instagram and on TikTok 
It's Chris Diaz. All right. So don't forget to follow Chris. So this is the first uh, full toilet and bath um, of this uh, floor. It's a full because actually it's. I, I think it's made full because the, the swimming pool is right there. Yeah. So I think the guests could actually uh, shower themselves here before they enter yeah. the pool. But to be honest, um, all the toilets here are Toto. Um, they're not just Toto. They're the, the Japanese kind Toto that opens up with... Actually, I'm weird because this has its own remote. <laughs> so you can flush through the remote, you can dry your butt through the remote, mm -hmm. and make some so that people won't hear you making a burger. Wow, very interesting. Right. So it's really nice. Actually, have you been to Japan? I haven't. I haven't. Mm -hmm. All the all the CRs there are like this, and it's really mm -hmm. amazing. Because even in the public CRs, you can actually you, you can you can choose any CR. Because mm -hmm. they have the CR. So we have to mention that um, even the shower fixtures are um, unique. Because at the bottom pressure, mm -hmm. but usually when we see it, it's usually just a knob that yeah. you just twist. Yeah. This time you can actually just press which one you wanna do. If you wanna do the shower, um, widen the shower range, or use the shower head. So range of different uses. And as you can see, pati yung tile, yeah, very classical. Yeah, you know? floor. Definitely. And also, no, I see it. I can see it. Getting lights. Oh, <laughs> and I think high ceiling, sila lahat. Yeah, high ceiling. So, magit marinig mo rin na high ceiling kasi may echo. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I, all of the bathrooms here have a, a mag closet for storage. So technically, para ka na may walk-in closet sa yeah. ano. So let's go outside um, this uh, lana area. Kung yeah. kasi, kasi it, it, ito yung sobrang hangin na ano na place. Talaga hindi tayo tatamba yung friends mo and the family. I think this is a place where um, your friends and family would really enjoy themselves. Having breakfast, having coffee mm -hmm. when they stay in this exactly. house. No? Going towards this, you know, towards the middle of the Lanai area. Ito, ang ganda rin ito, Chris. Yeah. This again is from Kenneth Coburn Nice. So it's actually being uh, used as a nilagyan na mga alcoholic drink if you want it to be. So, so you can actually put other things if you want. Pero just it being here. It makes a big statement about yeah, this exactly. house. So another good part is you have more resting parts of this house with these amazing chairs, which also are from Kenneth. So yeah, and uh, I think like I can just rest the afternoon. No, what do you feel? I feel like in this backyard. This is a backyard. Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. Because it's back at the house. Eh? No, it serves two purpose for me. First, you can actually relax and do recreational activities here. I know, so you can probably hire a, or a DJ. Again, you can have a DJ there. Oh, uh, the bar can yeah, be a DJ could room, be. And you can have a small party here. Yeah, it's a very alabang thing to do. Definitely. <laughs> and there's already a pool. Oh, oh so it's a pool party already. Pool party na siya automatically. Speaking of the pool, um, you want to go there? Yeah, Check it out. The pool. So, you, you actually have a garden first. There's a big walkway. But there are rocks here too. Define yung san yung ano mo, san yung pupuntahan. But I guess this is like a six feet, if I'm not mistaken. Six feet. Four feet, five feet, yeah. So it's not that big, but it's just parang, it's so, it matches the house. Yeah. Now it's not that big, it's not that small. Mm -hmm. So it really creates a, enough space for the people in the house to really enjoy this. Food. Yeah. And we have to mention that there's a pond or a doyan. There's a doyan dito. So if it's not that sunny outside, you can just lounge here, yeah. no, and enjoy yourself. And it has coffee. a very good lighting, like see, oh, uh -oh. Have a, so uh, another social uh, media uh, post na naman siya. Yeah, right? it's a very good social media post. Part. So actually, what, what I'm thinking is, parang every part of this home is very uh, Instagrammable. Exactly. <laughs> You can create contents here all throughout the place. Yeah, the lighting and, uh, is very good. The color is really good. And uh, on that note, abang ano yung mga pictures ni Chris? Because he's gonna post a lot on his social. So after that, let's go towards the kitchen. So the kitchen has an access from the living room. So don't be fooled that we're entering the kitchen from the outside. So there are also screen doors. Because of course, you're still in the Philippines. It's not always um, cold. Well, it's never cold in the Philippines. Yeah. Tama lang. So, 
one thing that I've noticed in this house, it smells very Filipino. Um, how it, uh, you know, when you enter a Filipino home, yeah. you know the smell. Yeah. You're right. You understand me. Yeah. So I hope our viewers can also mm. um, understand what I'm saying when I enter a home and it feels very and smells very Filipino yeah. because it's because of the wood that's uh, mm. used here. So here, how many chairs are here, um, Chris? I can see eight chairs. No, ten chairs actually. Ten chairs. You can fit a lot more. Pero ang ganda rin ng arrangement ng chairs, which are also included when you buy this house. Mm, so that's nice. We felt na textures here, and these are amazing um, wooden patterns for your chairs. So kahit yung chairs, actually dito pwede ka pang alam gumawa ng content na eh. Yeah. Di ba? <laughs> Say, look at your background. You have a big mirror. Look yeah. at the frame. It's really good. Yeah, and I have to mention that these are actually cabinets. Oh. So these open up. So it's more storage. So, syempre, being that uh, this is an Alabang house, you need aesthetic cabinets. Yeah, I like it that everything house. here has really worked on really pagkatabi tabi in each other. It, uh -huh. it really it blends. Gets, yeah, it blends. And also, and, I must say, the light. I was just looking Every at it. Every part <laughs> of this house really gives up something about the light. Every oh. room, even in the comfort room. Yeah, para hindi siya ano you know, hindi, It's not um, it's not an ordinary house when you think about it because there's natural light coming in the house. Yeah. But ibarin yung tama ng mga lighting fixtures. Toto. Parang okay. very you know very. Uh, Social media savvy, yeah. like, ano ganon, like interior design, yeah, right? Because they thought about people taking pictures of the home and how the people will be will uh will be lit uh, as with these lighting. And as you can see, walang masyado mga electric fans dito. Mm -hmm. Every room has its own AC. Nice. Na, syempre included na rin when it goes yeah. to. Uh, so you wanna check out the kitchen first? Tara, let us. So going towards the kitchen. Um, so this is your main kitchen. Okay. So all your uh, fixtures here, this ref is included. It's brand new. Nice. But we also have to mention that you have a wine cooler here. Oh, there's a wine cooler. Yeah, it's a, it's a small, but having a wine cooler. Is yeah. Good. Just make sure that all the lights are open. Yeah. Okay. So you got you have your wine cooler here. These cabinets are actually pressed to open. Oh, oh nice. These are lamp boards, so it's very sturdy. Yeah, I can see that it has a lot of storage, no? Yeah, hanggang yeah, and it's pa siya. and it's very minimalist up to this point. It's yeah. Still storage. Uh, actually, for for, uh, for a Filipino, I'm I'm a typical Filipino. I'm like five six, five seven, and you are like five nine, five eleven, five eleven. So. You would see na para kahit na ito yung Filipino height eh. So I can still reach it, no? Yeah. Y yung mga nasa top cabinets na yun yeah. <laughs> Pero going towards the cooking area, this is where things get special. Yeah. Kasi I have to mention, let's go here first the cooktop. No? So you get the cooktop here um, and this is your own exhaust. So my top exhaust ka, but that mm -hmm. it doesn't end there. Meron pa siyang Front exhaust. Wow. So okay. being the kitchen um, savvy that this house is, mm -hmm. ang goal talaga niya is all the smoke really is captured. Yeah. So if, for example, being a Filipino home, nagluto ko ng tuyo, um, tuyo pasta, mga mm. ganyan, kasi kailangan unique. Eh. Unique mm. sa alam ng yeah. So <laughs> hindi maamoy ng indoors yan, kasi may exhaust kaya sa taas, may exhaust kapa sa front. So sure. it was intently built for. To, to keep that very Filipino smelling yeah. house, right? Yeah. So yeah, um, we have um, more cabinets here, more cabinets here, and soft close cabinets on um, on the sides. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's really so it's soft, soft close. So when you're mad, you may tell a serious thing. Ka. <laughs> Al gusto mo magdabo. No. Hindi pa diyan dito. <laughs> Magbagay siya. Magbagay talaga siya. So push to open oh, tayo. Sure. Yeah, so very, I mean, it's very uh, spacious enough for everything. Yeah. Parang, kasi nga, you, you live in a big house, you mm. need lots of kitchenware, you mm. need lots of food. So, ito na yung storage space mo. Yeah. So, actually, alam mo, Chris, ang iniisip ko, pati pag naguhugas ka ng pinggan, very aesthetic pa rin yeah, siya. Look so, at how the light touches the, the sink yeah. area, right? So, I would imagine like me just washing the dishes here and the camera is right behind me. 
Meron naman talaga. So, ganda. Like, um, I would not this I uh, would not uh, not like this. I, I guess even you would really like this. Yeah. Even our viewers would actually love this. Um, it's not a two sink setup, but the sink is so wide. Definitely. That uh, you can really fit a lot of dishes, fresh yeah. food. So it's not it's not going to be an issue. Mm-hmm. And modular din naman yung mga ano, yung skin is really good. And you can have I know you can see who's outside. Right? Yeah, but if you don't like to see the people outside, you also have your curtains there. Mm. Na pwede mo siyang isara. Yeah, I see. And of course, you have your AC in the kitchen. Yeah. So, para din malamigan. But you yeah. get your own microwave. You have your oven. And towards our right is the dirty kitchen. So, to our dirty kitchen, which doesn't really feel like a dirty kitchen. Yeah. It's a dirty slash auxiliary kitchen where um, usually dito lang yari yung mga cooking talaga. One of the things that would really notify you that this is a dirty kitchen, Chris, is if there's a window right in front of it. Because mm-hmm. usually dito lang yari yung mga heavy cooking. I see. So, kumbaga, it really has to be uh, well ventilated. Usually other houses have the dirty kitchens outside the home. Yeah. Um, not medyo covered lang ng onte, so that when they cook, for example, big meals that have, mm-hmm. for example, steak, um, fish, mga um, sinigang, na grabi yung ano, grabi yung aroma. What what can you say about this part of the kitchen? Actually, Kev, from the main kitchen to the dirty kitchen, one thing I really appreciate is the storage. So it, dami. Yeah, and damning storage, and no matter how many things you put in, it won't really look cluttered. Oh, because you can actually organize them properly yeah. with these amounts of storage spaces. And lahat yung kasi talaga push. So at yeah. and ito pala hindi push. Pero dun sa main kitchen or push. Yeah. So behind uh, behind us there is the full toilet and bath for the staff and staff quarters for the mom. Which is really big to be honest. Yeah. And they have their own cabinet spaces there. So going towards the second floor, you'll notice how the lights touch. Wow. You can see pati yung patterns ng windows mo. Nakikita dito sa, ano, sa, yeah. sa shadows. Yeah. So, you mentioned something about the windows earlier. Yeah, I mentioned something about the window. The Let's window go up can... first. Yeah. So, oh. what happens to the windows? I have seen that you can open it through this remote. Sige nga. Let's try opening yeah, it. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> So yung mga lola, hindi yeah. na ako mabubukas. I mean, Anak, binubuksan mo ngayon yung bintana. Oh. Lola, ito po yung remote. remote. Yeah. <laughs> The remote po yung mga bintana natin oh. dito, lola. So, again, while we're looking at the window, yeah. another um, light fixture is wow. seen above us. What above. a beauty. Again, every spot of this home, is really I really appreciate the light, the lighting. Oh. Wow. So, Ganda nga eh. Kasi ito naman actually is, um, it's lighted from above, but the crystals are, ano, yeah. are reflecting the light. So, grabe din yung, ano, no, mm-hmm. yung artistry when it comes to yeah. these uh, lighting fixtures. It has really been thought of. Oh, oh. So, here naman dito sa second floor, you have a bookshelf here. This is your second floor living room. Mm-hmm. So, it's actually pretty big. I would really put um, probably a TV na lang here. If I, if you ask me. Tapos, well, my books are here. Pero, I guess yung family na tumira dito, hindi talaga mahilig sa mm, dito. They yeah. really wanted to read books, be with their family, and uh, enjoy the family life. Um, so re- first, let's go to the master's bedroom. Okay. Um, something different naman. Kasi mm. usually, lagi kami ng bedroom. So here in the master's bedroom. Okay. Medyo out of words ka from entering the room. Patterns. Oh, it's, so, it's so big. It's so... It, it gives out a different alabang feel. Mm-hmm. If, uh, if, uh, if you get me. Yeah. There's so many patterns. There's so many things happening. But they're all blending together. Exactly. So, so uh, syempre, light fixtures are very unique again. Yeah, so, the light again. It's so good. So, kasama na dito yung mga beds mo. Yan, the soft beds. And the yung, ano, front stool mo. And um, the, light fi- the lights in the cabinets are actually motion activated. So whenever you try to reach for something, mm-hmm. it will just light up. You don't need to do anything else. So again, being that this is a modern home, even though it's a, a classic home, you have modular storage. You mm-hmm. can pull out. Ito kasama niyong baskets. So pwede ka maglagay ng 
like I guess underwear, the socks would go there properly. Because it's more and go yung mga yun. Yeah. So here also is where you would find the CCTV. Oh really? So the CCTV sta- uh, station is here, so you can see the entire house. Siempre being that you're na yalalabang, even though you're very safe, uh, kailangan mo pa rin maglagay ng CCTV. Yeah. Yeah. So. It also has an access towards the balcony. Yes. But before do going there, I would like to show you this massive toilet and bath. Nice. It, it gives out a very classical feel because of yeah. the all white. It's big like my pattern here. To be honest. Mm-hmm. And one of the creative things for me is the glass TV. Yeah. Besides that, it has it's backlit. It's, it's, it's curved. Yeah. So it's it's so different. It's something different. Yeah. So again, you have Japanese toilets. It's the remote. The remote. The remote. So it's all there. It's off right now. Yeah. But you have your own bathtub over here. Yeah, definitely. So what I like about this space is, um, even though there are big bathroom fixtures. You have so much space. Yeah. Because you would appreciate the space, the like, But when you have, you parang ano, dead space, na parang mm-hmm. you can just walk around. Yeah. And then it looks really clean. You want exactly the cleanness of it. And I can see that they have two sinks here. Yeah, for his and her. Yeah. So parang hindi siya nagawa'y be Mister and Mrs. Yeah. So this portion is actually open. Um, but again, you have a window here for you know, if you want natural light. Yeah, if it's good for the vibes. <laughs> good for the vibes. Yeah. Oh, so, shower head for in our. These are all branded, by the way. These are all joking. Let's go to the balcony this time. Going towards the balcony. Wow. I guess this um, space. What would you put here? What would I put here? Yeah. What would you put here? Because the empty for shop right now. <laughs> I don't know too, but. Actually, I would like to have to leave it empty because the, of the of the floor. It the floor actually is already beautiful with how it is. I think uh, it has such a good space. I understand. I understand. Parang it's more. It's meant to be open. Yeah. It's, it's meant for, to be open. Yeah. Definitely. And this is how these people would uh, naturally just be staying yeah. here. And I imagine kung narin Chris, actually these people having this space open, like you mentioned, na talagang sa sandalang talaga sila sa railings, mm-hmm. looking at their guests. Or if you invite family over, how about you see your kids? You don't have to order, right? Or if you're not at the top. So in this walkway, you can find the second bedroom here. But it's easier to pass over there. Because actually, I want to point out that there's a space here where you can put a, a breakfast table, yeah. a breakfast uh, where really you can have good. coffee here. Because mm. it's the light. The ambience. Yeah. So I could really stay here for a while, talk with friends. Sala na siguro pag sundown, like 5 yeah. p.m., 6 p.m. golden hour. It, yeah. And again, it's like a social Aesthetic. media paradise. Yeah. This one. <laughs> the really sun. good. The light. So hindi ka na kailangan magdala ng lighting mo, cause the the sun provides you with yeah. the sunlight. Yeah. And I like that everything here works with the light. Oh, and, and your background is all full of green. Yeah. So it's not gonna. You have foreground, you have background, and you have your subjects, which are yourselves. So, okay, let's go to the third bedroom. Sliding doors. So, this is the second, third bedroom. Um, very unique lighting fixtures again. Yeah. And it has its own toilet and bath. Mm-hmm. But, ako, I personally appreciate that this has a big window. Yeah. Because at least, when it's um, very sunny outside, you can just turn down the lights, Turn on the AC and just lounge around, watch Netflix, just lying down, wait for lunch, wait for dinner, right? Yeah. So let's go to the toilet and bath first. So gusto na namin mention din na motion activated again. Actually, parang pagka uwi ko na jo may inis na ako na may inis na ako na hindi na motion detected yung <laughs> kasi mamaya pag bukas ko ng sarili ko closet, kasi lang yung ilaw. So it's motion activated. All the vanity mirrors are also backlit. Yeah. And Toto again uh, for the um, bathroom pictures. 
And again, yung toilet mo are Japanese toilets from Togo. And it's emotion activated. So I hope you got that on camera. So as you can see, lahat ng CRs ganyan. So kaya siya parang for, that's why we called it um, a classical modern Asian home. Because it has Japanese toilets. Balinese feel, that was very Filipino in woods, diba? So let's go to the second bedroom. But before that, I think you were looking at, the top, at yeah. the top again because of the it light captured texture. me. The light <laughs> captured me again. So let's go to the second bedroom from this side. So dito actually ang pinakaiba niya talaga from different rooms is where the window is. What's your view? Mm -hmm. So that's uh, what really captures different um, character for each room. This naman has a view of the pool. Ito yung pinanggalingan natin kanina, Chris, na, na balcony niya. Yeah. So, very unique lighting fixtures. One of the things that we have to mention on this, uh, about this house, kasi you've seen kanina mga touchscreen panels. Mm -hmm. You can control the lights, you can control the parts of the home, even the windows. Yeah. Yung kanina, di ba? You can also access that through your mobile phone. So imagine just opening it up to your phone going to your home. You can also automatically go in. For example, at 6 p.m., the lights turn on, turn on at different spots of the house. Mm -hmm. So let's check out the, the bathroom. Of course, the bathroom is motion detected na naman yung kanyang lights. So ito, for example, the mga nakalagay na gamit. So you would imagine that what this space will be used for. Yeah. Your clothes, your different um, uh, bed sheets, and you mentioned that you like this layout. Yeah, I this kind of like this layout because after your bath, mm -hmm. you get access to your clothes, yeah. to everything that you need. It's already your setting up area. Uh, so, parang I think what what Chris is mentioning here, the flow. Yeah. Of parang, I'm not sure if it's the right term. Workflow. Because so you go, activities. Uh, yeah. acti activities. Eh. So if it, for example you take a number two, number one, you can wash your hands there, take a shower here, you fix up your you groom yourself self here. Then you, you dress up. Then you, then you go out. <laughs> Not so that it would make sense talaga siya. Tapos, um, as mentioned in earlier, um sure, Japanese toilets in America. Yeah. So I guess you mentioned earlier that you really like the uh, Chris really like this CR because of the storage. Storage. Yeah. So if I'm sitting down here, um, we didn't reach actually lahat. Yeah. Like the soaps, the uh, well, you don't need a big day because this is a Japanese toilet, so you can get spray on this mm -hmm. So, pero the sink here, pagkatayu mo gugas. Your vanity area here. Your shower here. Really good. So, I, I mean the the flow of the bathroom is very nice. Mm -hmm. So let's go to actually this this one we're going to. Medyo hindi ko siya ma classify as a room. Kasi personally, Chris, I would really transform this room into a theater room, mm. entertainment room, um, because of how it's designed. And to be honest, I think the owner of this house also had the same idea. Yes. Because they put a couch here, mm -hmm. so I would imagine the family gathering here watching. Um, a big TV here or yeah. projector. Mm -hmm. Tapos may big windows kina naman dito, so I mean, it's gonna be well lit. And ato naman different yung layout ng CR niya. Yeah. 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 Kaya gusto gusto mo yung CR ng ganina, kasi dito wala storage area. Yeah. yeah. And you have your Japanese toilet. Um, I think you ma appreciate talaga ng mga tao dito yung storage area talaga yun. Let's say, for example, the master bedroom has this, but all the other bedrooms also has a uh, modular approach to storage. Uh, pull out din siya, tapos you have regular storage areas, mga hangers din siya. So, all the rooms have the same uh, amenities when it comes to the CR. But actually, to be fair, um, I want to go to this room again because I had an idea, Chris. This could actually be an office. Yeah. Diba? Mm -hmm. If you're the uh, the the couple who be, who would be living here, for example, would have their office here, your work desk nila when they're working from home, and I think you would appreciate this idea. Yeah. Because I was thinking, now for example, you're a social media influencer, you do your lots of content. Yeah. This is going to be your 
personal studio yeah. room. Exactly. You put Where your turntable, sure. yeah. yung backdrops mo, dito mangyayari yun. Yeah. And since the natural light hits properly yeah. from the right or right here, yeah. so you you can position your materials just right yeah. here. Mm. Para natural yung dating yeah. yung mga ano, products, and lighting for your face, yeah. whatever you need natural lighting. Light. And so I think maganda din na ano, separate yung area mo for work and for rest. Oh. Uh -uh. Yeah. So mag, it's either work, rest, or play. Yeah. yeah. So kaya nung bahala ko ano gusto niya gawin dito, kasi when you buy this house, it's all on you. So let's go back downstairs, Chris. And siguro ay what I want to point out na we need to give emphasis is I mentioned earlier that these are Nara floorings, even the handles are Nara. Yeah. But do you notice na hindi siya nagawa? Wala? Oh nga no. Kasi yeah. solid yung nara. Um, one of the reasons why that is is because it's aged properly. Mm -hmm. So ang ibig sabihin lang noon, usually the nara, the young nara trees are being cut and used in different uh, for uses for furniture, for different cases. Pero these are aged kaya yes. nung kinat siya, as is na siya. Mm -hmm. So kumbaga kaya wala nang maglakad tayo. Wala ka talagang magiging problema in yeah, terms of very smooth. Oh, smooth kasi talaga siya. And you can see the nostalgia of um, the house just by looking at these beautiful floors. So I guess uh, before we end this house tour, let's do our summary over here at the living room. So one of the things also um, to our viewers and Chris now that I want to mention. So who is the interior designer of this house? Uh, Cardova. So you can really see that even the interior designer really made this home perfect for the furniture. Because exactly. it started out started out as Nara floorings, mm. but as you can see, the the woods of uh, this furniture that we're sitting on, mm. Nara din siya. Yeah, it's a mix of um, Nara and Kamagong. That's why you see the contrast of uh, colors in terms of um, wooden patterns in the furniture. You can also see that prevalent in the dining room that we did earlier. Everything is really put well together. Oh, and speaking of put well together, even the the gutters are concrete. It, this house is for people who understand. Yeah. Who appreciates the artistry. And the details. The details mm -hmm. of uh, every single thing, even down to the furniture, to the, the how the cuts of, are made. Yeah. yeah. The quality of everything is mm -hmm. in here. And actually, I like it too that there are ident there is a specific identity per room. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the chandelier. Uh, uh, the lighting. Um, alam mo na, this is oh. the room of this, this is the room of that. Okay. So now let's talk about the price. So this house is for sale for 188 million. You're buying not just the house, you're buying the privacy. Privacy. The the, the breath of fresh air. Yeah. Because we're we are in Ayala Alabang. Mm -hmm. And given that you're in Ayala Alabang, you have perks of security, perks of having a barangay hall inside the yeah. vicinity of your subdivision. And when you say Ayala Alabang, parang it's more or less the top place in the south, yeah, right? especially in this Muntinlupa area. Yeah, and despite that, you will never lose access to the metro. Uh oh, because okay. given that may Skyway Stage Three, yeah, and then pagkalabas mo is Lex if you wanna go to Batangas. And when you talk about the north, it's not that far anymore. Yeah, because the Skyway Stage Three now connects to and Lex. Definitely. So you won't go to the hassle of going towards Edsa anymore and going through the traffic of the north, you can just go straight past it and just go to the next. Yeah, yeah. And despite that, not really going to the metro itself, we have Alabang Town Center very near. Oh, para hindi ka rin kailangan lang mabasok yeah. to the north. Everything is actually uh, not that far from here. Yes. So we will not lack in commercial centers, restaurants, and anything that you will need around the metro because you're still in Alabang. So if you want to buy this house, you can just text or call us this number below. You know, I would suggest for the the people who are interested in buying this house to actually view it. When you view this property, you would definitely appreciate it. So if you're not finding a home in Alabang or you're trying to find something bigger or smaller around the Philippines, we have thousands of other properties available in our website at httpsassetmark.global. And if you want to sell your property like the homeowner that we featured this house for, you can also do that at our website at assetmark.global. And don't forget to follow us on our socials at Facebook, Instagram, TikTok at Asset Mark Global, and 
Talk your socials to our viewers. Yeah, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at it's Chris Diaz. All right, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell button for more house tours. And again, I am Kevin. I am Chris, and we're here to help you move in and move up with, with Asset Mart Global. Global.